Good morning or good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Corai Online Training Series. This is Frank. Today's topic is firmware upgrade. This topic will talk about how to upgrade the firmware of the receiver by LD upgrade. This software will help us solve many problems caused by the firmware and improve your work efficiency. We also hope this training will help you to develop knowledge about Colorado -right control system. Because this group is large, I might be unable to open everyone's microphone. So please type your question in the chat window as the picture showed. We got our support team who are standing by answering your questions that came across the win chat window. Today's training will take around 20 minutes. We will leave the remaining time for answer some of the questions at the end. If you missed the last training, don't forget to follow us on YouTube, Colorlight Technology. It will be great to see your comments at our channel. All right, I appreciate your participation here. Let's start today's training. We may get a question, what kind of situation do we need to upgrade the device firmware? I think there's mainly three reasons. Different driver ICs, bug, uh, we need to fix some bugs in the firmware, and some customized features for the firmware. For the first one, the quality of the driver IC will greatly affect the performance of screen display. Different LED manufacturers will choose different driver IC for their products. Many driver IC have their own working principles and special drivers. In order to let those drivers work properly, firmware play an important role. Currently, the IC classification on this market is mainly divided into two types the PDM drivers, ICs, and normal ICs. Different firmware for them. Secondary, we will fix some bugs which we didn't find out in the old versions, like some compatibility issues or display abnormal. Third, some manufacturers will design their own hardware, some special cabinet or screen, and we will customize some special firmware and hardware during the early stage of the cooperation. Besides those reasons, we don't recommend the client upgrade the firmware during some uncertain situations. So, what kind of tool do we use for upgrading? Next one. LED upgrade is a professional tool that Kara designed for upgrade firmware for all products line, including receivers, processors, and accessories. It's an engineering software. We don't recommend any user to operate these tools, which may cause the screen not working properly. About the latest version of LED upgrade, it will be released on our official website www.carrightinside.com You will easily find on the drop down menu of support. It is under the software list. Please know that this software is only compatible with the Windows platform. Okay, after downloading the software, just keep the default path. If your laptop is the first time to install this software, please click this tool. It will take you around one minute to install the driver. Then the software will run normally. I 
at present, our company's products are mainly divided into the software series and hardware series. The hardware series mainly include receivers, controllers, accessories, and C player. Because the C player is another system, it's not included in today's topic. We know that firmware is a program or set of instruction programmed on hardware device. For control system, it is provides the necessary instruction for how the sender communicate with the receiver. Many engineers may have encountered these issues. They keep a lot of upgrade files in their laptop, but they still need to confirm the compatibility of the controller and the upgrade software every time. Otherwise, it may cause unpredictable results. In order to improve the functionality and fix some bugs, firmware upgrade is necessary procedures. For customer, easy to operate and learn is very helpful. That will help them to save a lot of time. So, for one software, the LD upgrade will support all above correct products. The latest version of this software will be compatible with all devices. In addition, LD upgrade also has those following functions. Rebat the firmware from the receivers. You can rebat the firmware and keep as a file in your laptop as backup. You can write the form and the logo of the controller or series of processor with LCD front panel will support these features. You can write the form and logo of your cabinet your, your panels. Uh, i5, i6 and about version receiver will support these features, but it needs to work with hardware. You can check the upgrade log. We provide the operation log to check the history. For example, how many receivers have been upgraded, when the user upgrade the screen, and so on. Okay, firmware integration. Firmware of different receiver and standards had been built in the upgraded software. For customer, they don't need to manage value of the firmware's file. The software will automatically associate the correct firmware when they click upgrade the button. But for some customized cabinets with some special features, uh, we, will we will suggest that they contact with the manufacturer to confirm the firmware's information because the general version of the firmware may not support all functions of their cabinets, cannot work very well. As we know, there are value of driver manufacturers uh, IC manufacturer in this market, such as the MBI, Macobrock, ICN from the chip points, NYCMIC, and the Sun Moon's uh, micro electronic. Each IC company has their many different types of driver IC, PWM or normal IC. Because, because of customer needs, we have cooperate with those companies. All the PDM driver IC and the normal IC will be integrated in the same firmware. It means one firmware will, will be compatible with different driver IC from different manufacturers. For example, MBI 5153 and ICN 2053 can be worked with one firmware. Also, the, uh, this one, MBI 5124 
and ICN 2038 also can be worked with same uh, firmware. Two firmware for two firmware in total for each receiver. So for the customer, what they need to do is confirming the driver IC on their module, their cabinet. This information you can obtain from the manufacturer or view the back side of the module. So you, you can know which kind of firmware you should use. Next, I will introduce how to use the upgrade software. Let's get a basic uh, idea about the interface of LD upgrade. On the top left is the navigation bar, send mode, you can change your language, package to check the basic information about the firmware, help, you can check the user menu here. On your left hand, here is the operation area. You can do some operation about the sender or receiver and other device. Device information, you can check all the device information in this area. The white page, you can switch different page for different device when you upgrade it. Send mode means the sending device you are using now. For example, if you control your screen with a Z6 processor, you should choose send, send mode here. Uh, the net car, the first one, net car mode means uh, you, you control your screen by ethernet car of your laptop. Usually, we only recommend it for debugging. So if you use sending device, it's a sending car or a processor, please select the second one, the sender mode here. Held menu. Uh, the user menu is built in the software. You can check. Let's see the, this video. The instruction about the LD upgrade, how to install this software, how to upgrade and rebuild the firmware, how to write the form and the logo of the sender. Actually, most of today's training is in the user menu. Device information. When we click the detect sender, we can check the sender version, sender type, and version of the firmware. Detect receiving car. The information about the receiving car, such as index and uh, firmware version, bit error ratios, and the status of upgrading. It will be shown here. Uh, for example, in this picture, we got a receiving car in port 1, one receiving car, 5A in port 2. Upgrade firmware. Before we click upgrading the firmware, you can select all of the receiver here. There's a button to be select all receiver. Also, you just can choose some of them for some spe specific receiver. There is an option box in front of each receiving car. Then when you click the upgrade button, you can import an upgrade file from your laptop or choose the preset uh, firmware. When the receiver is detected, the corresponding firmware will be shown as these pictures, the normal firmware and the PWM IC firmware, all will be shown here. Write the shocking form. 
Entropy means the cabinet will display the order according to your physical cable wiring. Let's see these pictures. You can see the first cabinet. There's a, a one show in the in the screen. For this one, that means no form in the receiving card. So you need to write in this button. Then we also can check the firmware will support these features or not. For port 1, all receivers support, but not for port 2. Cable reset. Uh, when the signal transmission currency between the receiver is poor, the error ratio is higher than 3 per million. Here, you can check here. The software will show a warming. You can reset the cable status by click this button. Then you check again. If the error ratio keep increasing, that means maybe some problem with your uh, Ethernet cable. You should replace a new one. That can help us to diagnose the screen. Read back the firmware, as we talked before. You can read back the firmware from a specific receiver, then keep as a file in your PC. So next time, you can use the same file to upgrade other receivers. The LCD upgrade. Uh, this part is for some specific hardware designs cabinet which have a LCD panel. The hardware engineer from the manufacturer they need to follow the hardware design and reference when they design the schematic. So it's not for all cabinets. Next. I will show you a short demo about how to upgrade the receiver. Let's see this diagram of the hardware connection. We have a screen, 4x2, uh, the, the cabinet in port 1, and the computer connect to the sender with the USB and HDMI. USB for control, HDMI for the video signal. On your right hand, this one is the mapping for the whole screen. The signal is entered from here. Then we, we know that there's some problem with the lump 4 receivers. Okay, wait a minute. I will open the software to show the demo how to upgrade uh, the receivers. Okay, here number four. So we couldn't show the vi uh, the video with the camera. So just look at these pictures. Firstly, we detect the res detect the sender. Select here sender mode. Detect sender. We can find that. Then detect the receivers. We can find eight receiver for the port one for this screen. Then we check the all firmware of port 1. You will see the number 4, this one. The firmware is 1.63. It's different from others. The other is 2.01. So this one needs to be upgraded. So we can select all of them or just this one. Then click upgrade. Uh, because this screen is a little bit special so we choose the firmware for my laptop this one then click upgrade open then upgrade then you can check the status here 
it will take around 20 seconds until it is the seed. Then we can see that uh, after the upgrade is finished, please power off, then power on. Okay, wait, wait seconds. Now the power is off. Power on again. Okay, then we can check all the receiver. Right now, all the firmware is same. It means the upgrade is succeed. So we also can show you the the interface for upgrade the controllers, processors. Actually, it's same as the receivers. Just click here. You can check all the information with the processor. Because the processor is combined with uh, many different hardware module so you can check many from different firmware version for different PCB board so the operation is same just click here select it and then upgrade then you will check there is a preset firmware uh, so we, we, we don't show here because it will take around five minutes to finish the whole procedures Just like this one, when we select the, the controller, then select the preset firmware, then it will take a long five minutes. Then you, you can check here. So be, before the data turn to be successful, don't turn off the power, otherwise it, it will cause some accidents. Maybe it is cannot open again. Okay, uh, what I want to mention about is firmware backup, but this, this feature only for some special receiver, for some advanced receiver like i6 and about version like i9, i9 plus. They got two different firmware. It will save in different place. Even though some, uh, when, when you upgrade the firmware of the receiver, the power is off but you still get an other firmware for backup but for the regular one the receiver if you turn on the power the firmware will gone and you need to return to the fat factory to fix it so finally i want to emphasize again please ensure you have a stable upgrade environment and don't turn off the power and uh, before the upgrade is successful that's the most important thing about upgrading okay that's gonna be all for today's training in the remaining time if you have any question about this training please send your question to chat window or raise your hand in the software so that we can unmute you